Southwest Florida, uh, where in the world is Lee Pitts Live right now? We are at the Quality Life Center's Sister Act play here 2018. Every year, this is Sister Act 2, by the way, Quality Life Center at the end of the summer puts on a spectacular off-Broadway play slash musical that uh, is the toast of the town. The children who are part of the Quality Life Center summer camp are going to uh, inside we'll get in there later on right now we're going to talk to some of the parents and relatives of the children who've come out to support them and talk about the great work that's being done in the quality life center you can tell they got a lot of pride because they got on q pride. q pride shirts and everything and then uh this is just outstanding so let's get right to it right here lee Pitts live is the media sponsor of this event and we come out here every year and cover it from end to end Nobody else comes out and covers the queue like Lee Pitts live, and I'll tell you why. Because nobody else cares about these children in the community like Lee Pitts live. They might come out here and do a little 30 second thing for the evening news, but nobody's gonna give you full fledged interviews and talk to the parents. They wanna talk to the parents when there's violence in the community. They wanna talk about the negative stuff. We talk about positive stuff on Lee Pitts live. Let's meet these great parents who come out with these beautiful purple shirts on. What's your full name, ma'am, and what's the name of the child or the children you come out to support? Kathy Brown, and my daughter is Jennifer Rhodes Brown. Okay. And yourself? My name is Janavis Brown. My daughter named Jennifer Rhodes Brown. That's right. We got parents out here who come out to support their daughter. Let's, uh, she's going to be performing in the play. Did she perform last year? Yes, she did. What, how did she, what, what was that last year? What was the name of that play? Was that Annie? Annie. Yeah, yeah. Annie. Huh? Cinderella was last year. Annie before that. And then Lion King. Okay. These things get better and better. We well, can't keep up with all can't that. Can't keep up with them. Let's tell us a little bit about your daughter. How old is she? What school she goes to? My daughter is uh, 12 years old. No, 11 years old. She'll be 12 August the 24th. And uh, she goes to Cypress Lake uh, Middle School. Uh, are you proud to see it? when you're sitting there in the audience? What's it, what goes through your mind watching up on that stage? Oh man, it's very proud because she plays in the band. She danced with the Q. I mean, she is very talented. I love it. Now the Q uh, gives these children exposure to a whole lot of things. How does that make you feel as a parent to know that your daughter is getting exposed to a lot of things? She, I love it because she's getting exposed to a lot of positive things that she might not even get to see. She's meeting different kinds of leaders in the community, so she can see more than just the violence going on in our neighborhoods. When you think about the queue, and when you drop your child off there every day or send her to the queue, do you feel this certain sense of, this is a great place for my child to be? Yes, because she is my only child, so I feel like she is absolutely safe, because anybody that knows me, I don't leave her everywhere. Okay. Now, the, um, the let's go back to the play. Uh, you have you seen her at home rehearsing and what is she going to be doing on stage tonight she's in the student scene and she's also doing one of the dance with the 10 and 11 year old groups so she's all excited about it because she loves to practice it i love to hear that let's go back over to dad dad i'm sure you've got a chance to see miss keisha at work yes <laughs> popping that whip right. doing that thing like debbie allen on uh fame the yes. more fame yes you got the sweat right uh, i i have i've glanced at miss keisha but i yes. understand miss keisha can move too yes what's your can. thought about miss keisha as the well, arts drama teacher well she is a very good teacher she's been with my daughter now for three four years and i tell you my daughter loves working with her great love working with her and i think miss keisha is a very good director how old is your daughter? My daughter is 12 years old. Okay, so I mean, she's 11 years old. She hasn't started to talk about what she, what her plans are for the future. Y'all got an idea what she wants to be when she grows up? She's actually, because she does dance, she wants to own her own dance studio. Oh, she's going to be a business lady. <laughs> yes, because she loves, that's all she loves to do is dance. The Quality Life Center is in the heart of the Dunbar community. It's, in a, it's, the, it's, it's the oasis in our community. How important do you think uh, Quality Life Center is to our community? I think it's very important to the kids that go there because it is a positive thing. And you see a lot of different role models that come out and try to help them. And whatever they want to accomplish, they're going to point them in the right direction. 
Outstanding. And you know, when we were growing up, I know I might be a little bit older than you, but if we would have had something like Quality Life Center, it would have made us even better off, huh? Yes, it would. Yes, it would have. Have you gotten a chance to go in the building and kind of walk around? Uh, you got some thoughts about overall? Yes, I've been upstairs to see their dance uh, performance art uh, part of the uh, building, and mm -hmm. uh, it's really nice. Got a chance to talk to Abdul Haq Muhammad? Oh, yeah. What's your thoughts on him, the director? Well, he. he He's great. That's mm -hmm. all I can say. He's great. Okay. Mr. Muhammad, say a little bit more about him. Mr. Muhammad, he is like the heart of the queue because he's a very positive person and he pushes you to do anything. And Always got a smile. Always got a smile. How you doing, sister? How you doing, brother? Yes, and knows your whole name. <laughs> <laughs> he remembers everybody, doesn't he? Yes, he does. It makes you feel like he's your... Uh, your best friend, yes, and you uh, you might not see him, but once every five months, and he's still, how you doing, bro? You got time and hug and everything. Yes. He's a special person. Yes, he is. Just so you guys know, when the Quality Life Center first started back in the 90s, I used to be a member of the board of directors. Okay. And Muhammad and I were really good friends. Some of you probably know me as the swimming instructor back then, and I uh, ran the swimming program for the Quality Life Center. Okay. Muhammad, I'm shouting you out as well. Well, parents have been great for you guys to come, and uh, one final question. Are you excited about tonight? And what, what, tell our TV audience what's going to happen on that stage tonight. You ain't going to see nothing but greatness from all the kids there. Always a, a great play? Yes, always a great play. Are you excited as well? I'm very excited, and I want to see a lot of applause, and I want to see the stadium full. There you go. It's going to be full. We're at Dunbar High School right here in the heart of Fort Myers, Florida. If you're looking at us around the country, Fort Myers, Florida is is off the Gulf of Mexico in the southwest corner of the state of Florida. This is Lee Pitts Live, and we're just so thrilled to bring you this event. We'll be right back. <laughs>